million shillings in 15 months, paralyzing its operations countrywide after debilitating court and street battles with TSC. It's been chalked up as a tough war between TSC and NAT, but at the end of the day, they always say it's those at the bottom who pay the price, and that being the teachers in this particular uh, push and pull. And you can get the details of that as well in your copy of um, your standard on page six therein. Uh, also in your standard, I will not fight Uhuru in public, Ruto says. Deputy President goes on charm offensive in Uhuru's Mount Kenya stronghold, saying the friendship with his boss is still intact, and he hopes to ride on President's support to win the 2022 presidential race. And that story can be found on page 8 of uh, your standard uh, this morning. Also, finally, on the front page of the standard, how governor shared county cash with family. And corruption agency details how Tarakanifi governor, Muthomi Njuki, uh, awarded tender to company that disbursed millions to his wife, son, nephew, and brother-in-law in a shocking ledger of nepotism and greed. The allegations made here, not too strange to Kenyans. You saw such allegations uh, forwarded as well against uh, Governor Obado of Migori. You can get the details of that on page two of your standard this morning. Finally, from page of the star now, Raila ready to roll out aggressive 2022 campaign says the star. ODM leader hits the ground and prepares for presidential race. From Kakamega to coast, Odinga rejuvenates strongholds, as they call them right there. And as you can see right there, um, part of um, what he was doing earlier in the year in the BBI rally uh, in Mombasa. You can get the details of that story in your star. Uh, also, vocal MP Ngeno arrested for incitement and Mamangina Sla. Uh, Emurua Dikir MP Johanna Ngeno yesterday uh, evening actually uh, arrested uh, for those statements that he made. You can get the details of that in your copy of um, your uh, star as well in there. And as we look at that, um, still the questions beg on the numbers that we present as far as COVID-19 is concerned. The star talking about it saying that there's no scientific evidence as yet. COVID-19 deaths won't exceed 1,000, the experts say, uh, but everyone just wants to see where the numbers lie and stack up and what it really means uh, moving forward. You can get the details of that and plenty more stories in your copy of your star this morning. So those are the big stories that you have uh, front and center as far as your dailies are concerned. But uh, just to bring it back to focus right here on the show, we're talking about uh, especially matters, revenue, allocation, and the standoff that we've seen in the Senate that if it was akin to a boxing match, 10 rounds going on, 11, 12, where does this really end? We have a very able panel to take us through that discussion right here on the show. We love your feedback on it as well. You can get me at I am Jeff Morte or at K24 TV. The WhatsApp number also scrolling at the bottom of your screen. Welcome to K24 this morning. Locations, stalemate, and where we are right now, and more importantly, how do we break this stalemate and move forward? To have this discussion, we have the Senator of Laikipa County, Honorable John Kenya, to join us. A uh, man who's, uh, if this is uh, the, the boxing match that we're saying, he's definitely in that ring trying to find a solution to this uh, particular problem. Honorable Kenya, welcome to the show. Uh, thank you, Jeff. For Karibu sana. Uh, Asante sana. Uh, Asante sana. You'll also be joined by Joy Mdivo uh, later on, even as we discuss this particular issue uh, right here. Let me start off with Honorable Kenya on this one, because we are at a point where even Kenyans are wondering, really, what, what is the issue? If, if there was an issue, by the third time this was being discussed, surely a solution has been found. But even now, still not yet out of the woods, what really is the matter in the, at the floor of the Senate? Uh, the issue is, uh, is because you are discussing funds, and a matter of fact, uh, matter of fact uh, funds issues are uh, emotive. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, when we are in the Senate, the Constitution is very clear. Article 217 says uh, very well that after every five years, we are going to have uh, a formula for sharing revenue. We had had two, two formulas. The first one was, uh, was made by... In 2012, it was made by the National Assembly. The second one was uh, in 2016 by the Senate. Uh, but now, because we realize what we need as a Senate is that uh, there are functions that are devolved. We have agriculture is devolved, we have health which is devolved, and we have some roads are devolved. So in the new formula, there are new parameters that were put. Mm -hmm. And in the new parameters uh, that were put, many of these uh, parameters involve population. Mm -hmm. So when, the, these form, the, when these parameters were put in, it became very clear that uh, it was more about population. And uh, in the second, in the second, uh, in the second formula, there was parameter of land. 
right. in the form in the, the third formula what we're calling committee formula mm -hmm. the population uh, the the parameter was reduced from eight uh, percent to five percent so the areas that ca has a uh, bigger landmass, the money that were to be allocated to those areas were reduced. And um, again, when you look at the population of uh, 2009 versus the population of uh, 2019, some counties, the population uh, uh, reduced. Like, for example, if I take um, Mandera, the population then, it was uh, 1.1 million. But as we speak now, the population that was uh, the sensor that was done in 2019, the population reduced. It mm -hmm. came to, it reduced by 300,000. So if we allocate money in terms of population, their money reduced. So the counties that were perceived, uh, the, the, the notion that came, we had bruises and gainers. Uh, right. We were about um, uh, 27 gainers and the others were losers. So that, that's, that's where the contestation began. Yes. But so to speak, uh, many, many people, even who are gaining, like for example, Nairobi, uh, Sakaja, uh, was not supporting the formula. We go to Elgeo Marakwet, we go to Kakamega, those people, because it was perceived it will be easy. Somebody thought, because many counties were gaining, so it was easier to vote, mm -hmm. and uh, like 18 counties were losing. So it, if it was just about voting, the counties that were gaining were to vote in favor of the formula, and the counties that were losing were to, were to be defeated. Right. But that, that was not the case. There's, there's something you've mentioned there. Somebody thought that it would be easy. Who is this somebody? Who is this person? Uh, it, 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 uh, it, it's because when we are in the Senate, uh, we, 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 we have leadership. Huh? Right. And uh, when we have leadership, uh, you know, these uh, people in the leadership thought it will be easy because at the end of the day, this, uh, it, was, um, it was a government uh, bill and uh, it, was, it was supposed to be hit by the, by the, by the government. Right. But unfortunately, that did not happen. Okay. Many people that uh, were thought they would, be, they would support the formula did not support the formula. And uh, we, end up, we ended up losing. But for me, because I'm supporting the formula, mm -hmm. the reason I'm supporting the formula is because uh, the committee of uh, finance had followed all what is required by the constitution. If you look at article uh, 2172, it says the committee is supposed to listen to the CRA recommendation, which it did. It's supposed to get a recommendation of COG, recommendation of uh, uh, cabinet secretary finance, listen to professional bodies, and okay. it did all that. Uh, but when it reached the floor of the House, things changed. And the reason why I'm even against the amendment that been, has been brought by Rinturi is because Rinturi's amendment are saying we freeze these parameters at uh, 270 billion because the allocation that's going to the county, we have 316.5 billion going to the county. Actually, Honorable Kenya, I just want to stop you at that particular point just for a second on that particular one. I want to bring this also to context as far as our viewers are concerned. And as we stand right now, now the hope of resolving the current stalemate surrounding the new revenue sharing formula hangs in the balance even as the Senate resumes its normal sittings today. Consensus is yet to be reached as a section of members of the select committee fronted to find common ground hinted that members did not agree. Give us on minor had the details on this story. As the Senate resumes normal settings on Tuesday, after a month-long recess, the legislators are hoped to amicably resolve the revenue impasse that has prevented disbursement of funds to the counties. With all due respect to my counterpart in the executive, the CSA attorney, I am not persuaded by his position that the government does not have a legal framework to disburse money to the counties. The select committee fronted to bring warring sides to a consensus has unfortunately not agreed to table a particular motion due to hard stances by its members. It was not possible to come into a consensus, that's a fact. We cannot lie. You know, I, I, we came with one extreme position, and they, are, and they came with one extreme position. It's in one report. So tomorrow, um, what would be neater, to tell you the truth, is that everyone drops all the amendments of the committee report, and then we now vote for these two positions that the committee you know, because, you know, we're using public money. We're spending a lot of public money. The Rungu Kangata led side has vowed to remain adamant on the government-backed formula of one man, one vote, one shilling. For some of us who still believe in the uh, population-based allocation of revenue formula, is still we are still there. We are, we are more determined and resolved. 
and uh, when we go back to the house, my position has not changed. On the other side, the Murkomen and Ledama led side, famously known as Team Kenya, declared to remain firm and support medical interior amendments to ensure that no county loses money. The biggest problem I'm having, it seems as if Senate is being controlled from outside. We can no longer make our decisions here. So those ones who are controlling, maybe you should ask them when they want this formula. The battle now remains to be a game of numbers as opposed to consensus with Team Kenya welcoming the vote saying they will carry the day since they were the majority. To Mejadili, uh, he reported, na nafikiri sahi mefikia, tufanye suluhishu. Wale wengine wakiwa haona numbers kila wakati, wana postpone, wana postpone, wana postpone. Tupige kura tumalizani na ikitu, na najua Team Kenya will take the day. Whether the senators will crack the revenue deadlock tomorrow remains cloudy as legislators show signs of despair decrying external influence. Give us mana, K24 evening. And there we have it as far as that's concerned. Um, this is where it stands. Um, Ten debates on still no sign of the white smoke even after a committee was formed. But before we went to that story, Honorable Kenya was trying to set it in context even as we stand at this particular point. Linturi, formula... Is this the way forward? Uh, the, the issue the, where we are having uh, this standoff is because there are some um, members uh, who are feeling that uh, when you bring the Renturi's amendment, mm -hmm. the Renturi amendment is bringing, they are, it freeze, we are freezing at uh, 270 billion. With the money allocated to the county, we have uh, 316 billion. But when you say you are freezing 300, uh, 270, meaning you're going to be allocating these uh, monies using the second generation formula, whereby you'll be using population of 2009, we are going to use the poverty index of uh, 2012. Uh, many of us are feeling that that is not correct because mm -hmm. we have the new population that, that was uh, for 2019. Mm -hmm. And the reason why we are doing the, the sensor is because the reason why we do sensor is so that we can have the correct uh, data for allocating money to the counties. Okay. That's the purpose. Okay. So when you freeze uh, at 270, meaning 270, the 270, 270 billion will be shared as per the population of 20, 20, 2009 and the poverty index of 212 is not fair. I want to ju just jump to Joy as well as she joins us. Joy Mdivo, Executive Director of the East Africa uh, Center for Law and Justice. Very quickly on this one, from a legal point of view, how long can this continue? You know, because some Kenyans followed the first, second, third time, and then they're like, okay, this is a series that is never ending. <laughs> Legally, how long can we have a situation where we're in December and still having this revenue allocation debate still going on? You know why this debate looks like it stayed very long is because in this COVID season, the Senate has not been meeting as regularly as they ordinarily would. And then when their recess fell due, they also still took their recess, even though they've been having special sittings. And so the special circumstances have made it such that the meetings of, of the Senate are not as we would have expected. And therefore, the matter has not been dealt with as expeditiously as it otherwise would have been dealt with. Mm -hmm. That is one. Secondly, like I've said before, it's also a product of lunches. Since April last year till now, I think we always assume we've got time, but Kenyans and mm -hmm. last minuteing, well, mm -hmm. that's what we also do, so we can't really blame our senators right. for following the same angle. Right. However, the reason why the, con the court pronounced itself regarding the allocation of the 50% based on the previous form, uh, basis share, revenue sharing basis was so that the Senate takes as much time as they need to come up with the third uh, revenue sharing basis. Mm -hmm. And so it's not like a process that is time barred. And that's why you're saying 10 times, 11 times. However, with the extended um, stalemate, we have found, for example, like Treasury has not really been releasing mm -hmm. any money, even, even though there is the provision to release up to the 50%. We also are not seeing an, uh, a corresponding discussion in the National Assembly regarding the Equalization Fund. Okay. Because what Senator is talking about what we are trying to share is even less than the 15% that was allocated in the, that has been mandated in the constitution. But because DORA passed, or rather the division of uh, revenue allocation passed with the 316 figure. That's as high as we, we can go. Now we are struggling to try and make it work with the new census figures, but a reduced amount to be okay. shared out. So legally speaking, nothing is really out of the law. But at the same time, things are not aligned as they should be. There are few gaps that have been left. Okay, we're also joined in this conversation by uh, former Senator Machakos uh, County, uh, Johnston Muthama. Good morning, uh, Bwana Muthama. 
Morning, my brother. How are you? Very well. Uh, welcome. Thanks for making time to be on the show today. Well, I'm here and I'm waiting to hear what you want me to, to say or answer you. Fantastic. Let's get right to it then. Because you've been in there, you've been on the floor of the Senate, and sometimes people say you get uh, an objective um, perspective once you're out of the fray. You're out of this fray and you're watching a Senate which you were in before. What really is um, the problem with this formula? Is it the inputs that we're putting in there, population, uh, fiduciary management, land, or is it the politics outside of the Senate that has us at where we are right now? I want to share my experience with you and the, the Waishmewas there and the rest of Kenyans by informing you that uh, there is a style that is used by uh, governments to manage uh, uh, certain situations. And uh, having been a chief whip uh, of the government in 2007 uh, up to 2013, I've gained a lot of experience. And what is happening now, in short, is that the government does not have money. Because if you look at the allocation, the distribution of the funds, the allocation that was to be given in the last three years, it has never been given to the final cent. There is balances which needs to be distributed, given to the counties, and it has never been given. Why? Because there is no money. So the tax is being applied to the government, if you look at it. Already 316 billion shillings is available. The issue is that even the formula that is being uh, applied for is not going to be affected now. They are saying it should be moved forward to after three years. But the government is not willing to come and sort out the problem. The other thing is that if today the executive wanted the funds to be given to the counties, it is about President Kenyatta to call senators in a meeting and agree on the formula and the way forward. So what is there is that the government does not have money. We saw the slashing of the funds to judiciary. We saw money being reduced in many sectors. Why and where did that money go? Look at the amount in dispute. Is it 20 or is it 18 or is it 14 billion shillings? What is that? Even if that money is what is required, the government can go to consolidated account and get the difference and give to the counties that needs more. But they are creating a situation, the government is creating a situation that, where there will be a dispute always and this will not be solved. Where is the 316 billion shillings available? Why is it not distributed? Why is it not given even 20% or 30% or 50%? And then they remain dealing with the other issues. Reason, the government is bankrupt. They tell those Waishmewas and Kenyans to get to understand that the rest is musical game, which will never find its way out, but just keep on confusing Kenyans. That's an interesting allegation made uh, right there, uh, Bwana Muthamba. Let me bring it to uh, one who's on the floor of uh, the Senate. Uh, Honorable Kenya, as you've heard, uh, former Senator Muthama talking about the fact that the reason why this game is playing, the executive doesn't have the money and it will stage this, you know, he said, she said, for the better part of this year. What do you take about that? Because some people have said there's executive overreach into, you know, parliament. Is that what's happening right now? Uh, the issue of the government not having money, uh, I don't want to deny and confirm it. But the truth is we invited, because I'm a member of the committee, the 12 member committee, mm -hmm. we invited the cabinet, uh, deputy, uh, the CES, uh, right. uh, finance, uh, Honorable Gaishuhi, and he did confirm that uh, they had money. And uh, the issue that we have at hand is about the formula. Is Even if we pass the formula, uh, I did hear the Senator Mudama saying the president is supposed to call all of us. Uh, for me, I, I believe in what we call separation of power. If uh, we don't need the president to call us for us to agree, because I think, I think uh, as, as a house, we have our duty uh, to serve Kenyans in that capacity. Mm -hmm. We don't need to be called by the president. The only thing I want to agree with Modama is that the national government can give money the difference, which is about 17 billion, and these uh, issues will, will uh, come to an end. Right. But having said that, let us agree that 30% uh, 
is the issue of the formula. 70% is politics. Mm -hmm. Everybody is, uh, the issue, why it's taking long is because of politics. Right. Uh, everybody is bringing, pulling from this direction, now a person is pulling in this direction. For example, if this is a government bill and somebody like uh, the, the, the whip from the majority side, uh, who is uh, Senator Mutula Kilonzo Jr., the deputy whip from my side, who is Faria, they are whipping in the wrong direction. So to speak, if you are talking, they are not whipping in support of the of the the, of the, the bill. Mm -hmm. uh, then we are finding ourselves in a very bad position. The issue here would be, and then you look at uh, Machakos, where I started. I started by saying it was thought that uh, the gaining counties will vote in support of the formula, but you find uh, my colleague, somebody like uh, Kabaka, he's saying he cannot vote, uh, vote in support of the formula because his colleagues Kitui and uh, Makweni are losing. Mm -hmm. The same, the same narrative was uh, being propagated by somebody called uh, Malala. He said if Higa is losing, I cannot support. But you had what. Uh, Baba told him yesterday when he mm -hmm. was uh, there, he told him, no, 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 there is more than meet the eye. It cannot be about uh, your brother. So okay. for me, it's more of politics than meet the eye. But I, I want to tell you today, uh, when we go to the house, all what we are going to do uh, so that we can ease this pressure, one, we have agreed that even if we were to pass this, we have agreed as a house, even if we are to pass this formula, we are not going to affect it immediately because there are these counties that are going to lose money and they had already budgeted. Mm -hmm. So to be fair, we are not going to allow this uh, formula to take effect immediately. So today what we are going to do, we are going to pass CARA so that the counties can have money and they can continue operating because many of these counties are grinding to a halt right now because right. they don't have money. So that's one thing we are going to do. Uh, from there, we, we, we are asking ourselves, why is it not, it was very clear, the ruling of the Supreme Court said the counties can get their money from Treasury per about 50% vote on account. Mm -hmm. I don't know why the Cabinet Secretary is not doing that. Haven't the funds yet. Yes, okay. uh, and somebody like uh, the Attorney General is sending his uh, opinion. What opinion does, uh, does he give when the Supreme Court has made it so very clear? Okay, mm. I want us to take a short break at this particular point in time because there's feedback coming in as well on this particular debate. You can send it in the WhatsApp number scrolling at the bottom of the screen. You can send in your uh, feedback right there, your comments. You can also get me at I am Jeff Morte or at K24 TV. Let's have it up before we get to our break. Uh, if the Kangata or CRA formula was to be genuine to all Kenyans and the ratio should be opposite, that is uh, 3 to 2, the most developed counties or regions be awarded 2 to 3, this will close the marginalization gap in Kenya. Mandera has no water, electricity, roads, hospitals, while the 27 have been getting develop, uh, developed since the colonial era. This is Kelwon from uh, Muchuko, Baringo County. Keep your views coming in. You can get me at I am Jeff Morton on Twitter or at K24TV as well. Uh, government is playing politics at expense of Kenyans, it was not hard to remove Kindiki. Why is it hard to pass the formula? Okay, the political angle of this has been thrown into the fray as well. Don't forget, you can get yourself a copy of your PD. It's only 10 shillings straight to your phone, the number that you dialed, star 550 star 4 hash. And right here, take your e-copy, download it, screenshot that picture, send your name and where you're watching from to the number on WhatsApp. You get yourself 250 shillings worth of airtime. Short break, back with more. It's all about matters, revenue allocation right here on K24 this morning.